All right, take a minute, try this out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. All right, they're telling us that this expression is equivalent to one of these down here. And what that tells me I need to do is distribute. Take this and distribute it to both terms, and that's it. How do we do that? Well, 6xi cubed times negative 4xi. Well, we first want to multiply our coefficients, 6 times negative 4, that's negative 24. Then x times x is x squared, i cubed times i is i to the fourth, plus, in this case, it's just 5 times 6, which is the 30, and they have x times i cubed. Now, with powers of i, just, you might recall, i to the zero is 1, i to the first is itself, which is the square root of negative 1, i squared, if you square negative, the square root of negative 1, you just get negative 1, i cubed is negative 1 times i, so negative i, right? Just the previous, we already had i squared, and then times another i is negative i. I'm just saying, here, should, let me write that out, actually. So that's just i cubed equals the same thing as i squared times i, same thing. And i squared is already negative 1, so it's negative 1 times i is negative i. And then i to the fourth, if you look, look at that one, it's really just i squared times i squared. And every i squared is negative 1, so it's negative 1 times negative 1, which is 1. And it, this is already a complete loop, because i will repeat itself every four powers. These four powers right here repeat over and over again. So i to the fourth is 1, i to the fifth is square root of negative 1, i to the sixth is here, and so on and so forth. And that tells me in this problem, I can rewrite this as negative 24x squared, i to the fourth is just 1, and then minus 36x, because i cubed is negative i, I'm sorry, that's like that, negative 36xi. So um, do we have that choice here? Yep, except I multiplied incorrectly. 6 times 5 is not 36, it's 30. And that is choice 2. All right, I hope that helps.